In many instances in the Bible, in both his preaching and ministry, Jesus Christ surprises us. It is like that we have read the gospel so many times that we are now used to them, and consequently, our minds capture nothing surprising. Consider these few instances, the true way to the blessedness, Matthew 5, 1 to 11. The master who washes the followers' feet, John 13, 1 to 17. The one who fed thousands, he himself suffered hunger and thirst in the desert. Jesus Christ today, too, in the gospel, takes a surprising position and it teaches us that the one who is humble like a child is the one who will enter the kingdom of God. This is the one who is the great. For Jesus Christ, greatness is not in the titles. It is not in academic qualifications or riches and honor. No. For Jesus Christ, Greatness is in trusting confidently in God's care. As a child trusts his or her parents, so are we as believers to believe and to trust that no matter what happens to us, God is in control. I think all of us have been little ones. And you know, where we used to place our trust in our parents. I remember one time, a kid approached me, said, Patrick, I'm going to box you, I'm going to beat you. And I said, I'm going to report you to my dad. I knew that my dad was the powerful man who is going to crush that baby. You know, you have seen kids. When you try to scare the kid, where does he go? To his, or, to his mom or his dad. He goes to their parents. That is where the kid gets refuge, finds refuge. Where is our trust? If we are scared, where do we go? If we have any challenge, where do we la rush? We need to rush to our refuge, who is God. St. Augustine teaches us that it was pride that changed angels into devils. It is humility that makes men angels. The little are the great in the presence of Jesus. The disciples, after following Jesus Christ for some time, come to him and inquire about who is the greatest. After seeing the miracles that Jesus Christ was performing, it is likely that they highly thought of Jesus Christ as a political leader. And so the question about greatness was appropriate. He who was later to say, my kingdom is not of this world. Teaches us that true greatness is in being little, being humble, not being considered by others. When we meet people, how do we introduce ourselves? I'm the boss of this place. How are you? I'm the editor teacher of this place. I'm the leader of Women's Guild. We start with the titles. Those titles do not work. Jesus wants us to be humble, to imitate him, 
was humble until death. 